Let us pray. Our Father, we thank you for our Bible study today. We thank you because you've given all scripture for our perfection. And we know that every part of scripture is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, and for instruction in righteousness. So that the man of God will be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto every good work. We know you are still working on every one of us. You are not finished with any of us. And so we are praying, O Lord, today, by the scripture again, you'll walk in every heart in Jesus' name. We know that if we read and we do not understand, it will not bring any spiritual benefit to us. If we feel we understand, but there's no personal application, it will not stir us up to follow the way of the Lord. If we see ourselves in the mirror of the world and we do not wash in the water of the grace and the spirit of God, there will be no change in our lives. We are coming before you, Lord, that to show us who we are, how we are, and that you cleanse us of the blood of the Lamb and energize us of the Spirit of God in Jesus' name. Grant us proper understanding in your world. And help us to know in all so we'll be able to help and instruct and teach and admonish other people in Jesus' name. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Tonight in our study in scriptures, we come to Hebrews chapter 6, verses 4 through to 8. Please open your Bible with me as we read these uh, verses of Scripture. For it is impossible for those who are once enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the Holy Ghost and have tasted of the good word of God and the powers of the world to come. If they shall fall away to renew them again unto repentance, seeing they crucify to themselves the Son of God afresh, and put him to an open shame, for the earth which drinketh in the rain that cometh out upon it, and bringeth forth hers meat for them by whom it is dressed, receiveth blessing from God. But that which beareth thorns and briars is rejected, and is nice unto cursing whose hand is to be burned. Nitori, I want you to la you like to want to see toy a borrow woe. To want to see the other back way, me, to want to to all roar, or long woe, as I buy a team ball. To want to see Bukuro, Koleshe, Latis or what you are to see, or no Kuada. Nitori want to call more long mark, Belebu Sierra, when you are to. Was it do you see any bang bang? Nitori let you off your mule job. Turn us or read any bag of bomb. Tossing way way bet you that I found what the auntie told you one rope by loom by Bukola or Lorum. So burn a two who a gong at your susu, a call, could gena see a gong, okay, it's your jeffu, Ijuna. Those verses of scripture which we have read together. Uh, they form the basis of what we are studying tonight. It is part of scripture given by the inspiration of God. It is part of scripture that cannot be broken. It is part of scripture that the word of God says, seven and earth may pass away. Not one jot, not one tittle, out of the word will pass 
pass away. O ja pack away with me, ma, it's your alone, so I pay all on for a year to your last year, Lord. You can't kill you all alone, cool or lie. It is part of the scripture that the Lord has given for our correction, for our reproof, for our warning, so that we'll take instruction, we'll take admonition, and we'll be able to walk straight the way we ought to do as children of God. O ja a pack away with me, ma, it's your alone, if you wa, free, Tony, wa, free, Connie, wa, free, Bunny, we wa, kill by the jet, pay all the one. Yet we need to understand and remember it is part of the scripture that some people twist, distort, rest to their own perdition and to their own punishment. Obviously the passage is talking about something frightening. He's talking about apostasy. He's talking about the people that fall away. And he's talking about the danger. He's talking about the doom. He's talking about the damnation of the people that fall away. And it becomes impossible to renew them again to repentance. Because of this, there are people that misinterpret the word of God. They try to misinterpret it so as to say there is no danger at all. There is nothing to be afraid of. Everything is going on well. Everybody that has been born again will eventually get to heaven. There is no backsliding. There is no perdition. There is no judgment. There is no wrath of God. Once you are in, you are in. There is nothing to fear. They say the passage is hypothetical. That is, the passage is talking about something, just giving an illustration, just using some difficult words. It will never happen in reality. It is just there so that uh, you'll be a little bit careful, but really they say there is no problem and there is no danger. They're trying to say that so that they can maintain their false hope of eternal security of sinning, backsliding, rebellious uh, churchgoers. But, but the passage is very clear. It doesn't need a the theologian to interpret it. The Bible interprets itself. The passage is warning us of the possibility of apostasy. He's talking about the perdition of the apostates. There is a difference between backsliding and apostasy. Just like there is a difference between falling and falling away. Now they've one that falls is the one that backslides. The one that falls away is the one that goes into apostasy. But the people that fall, there is there is forgiveness. For the people that fall and they come, there is repentance and there is a forgiveness. Forgiveness and their salvation, their restoration. David fell, but he didn't fall away. Peter fell, but he didn't fall away. The people that fell, but he didn't fall away, those are the people that backslide, and there's restoration for them. There's a grace of God for 
for them. I want to want subu, subu, I want to subu, pata pata. You are when you be, you dare to be from what you have got. I was your dolua. But Balaam fell, and Balaam fell away. Subu, Balaam was subu, or she subu, pata pata. He fell away from obeying the law. What subu, cro, no big boy, I was your dolua. Eventually, joined the enemies of the people of God. Go, why you are there for my war or tell Lord? And he began to join the people that were waging war against the people of God. He didn't only fall. Balaam fell away. Oh, I dare you, pe o dara ko ma awo to loro lati le ma ma awo ni olorun ko se ni pa ba Balaam subu 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 pata pata. Kora, Dathan and Abiram they fell. They didn't stop there. They fell away. Kora, Dathan and Abiram o subu subu o drum subu ni ka wa subu pata Judas is carried to Subu. But he didn't just remain there. Judas is carried fell to the point he fell away. Judas is Subu de Bibo Subu Pata Patani. And so such people, they do not find place for repentance. They cannot be renewed to repentance again. They are forever lost. They perish forever. And so you must always make the difference between falling, that's backsliding, and falling away, that's apostasy. As we look at the passage, we are going to touch on three definite points. Number one, the danger of apostasy. Number two, the description of apostates. Number three, the damnation of apostates. Let us look at number one. The danger of apostasy. Look at it in verse 4, chapter 6 of Hebrews. For it is impossible for those that were once enlightened. And have tasted of the heavenly gifts. I were made partakers of the Holy Ghost. And they have tasted of the good word of God. And the powers of the world to come. If they shall fall away. To renew them again unto repentance. Because they crucify to themselves the son of God afresh and they put him to an open shame. You see it says here it is impossible to renew them again unto repentance. Now you see there are people, theologians, that are taking that word in verse 4 and they say, well, that word says impossible. Uh, why don't we modify it a little and just understand it is difficult to renew them again unto repentance. Well, if we do that with that word impossible there, we have to do also with Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6. Because Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 says, But without faith, it is impossible to please Him. Then we have to change that a little. We have to say it is difficult to please him. Now, can you see there, if you change it in one place, you have to change it in, other, in the other place. But it doesn't say it is uh, difficult for to renew them to repentance. It says it is impossible. And so you see what the Lord is 
saying here please come back to Hebrews chapter 6 Hebrews chapter 6 let's look at verse 18 it says by two immutable things in which it was impossible for God to lie if we change the word impossible to difficult we have to change that verse and we have to say by that by two immutable things in which it was difficult for God to lie. He can lie, but it's difficult. It's difficult for God to lie. You can't say that. The word impossible is impossible. You say it's impossible for God to lie. So you see, we leave the word impossible there in Hebrews chapter 4, verse 6, and we read this as it says, we accept this as it is, we interpret it as it is, we understand this as it says, it says it is impossible for those who were once enlightened, who have tasted of the heavenly gift, and were made partakers of the Holy Ghost, and have tasted of the good word of God, and the past of the world to come, if they shall fall away to renew them again unto repentance. <laughs> You see, it is telling us that the hope of restoration for the apostates who are falling away, that that hope is forever gone. Backsliders who fall, they can come back. Backsliders who fall can come back. David repented, he came back. And uh, God rebuked Moses for striking the rock two times. He pleaded with God, he's now in heaven. Peter fell and he told a lie, but he wept, he cried. He came back into the kingdom of God, and God you still used him mightily. The prodigal son that went to the far country, he came back to himself, he repented. He came back and the father received him. But if a person goes beyond backsliding, if he goes to the point of falling away, to the point of apostasy, the result is frightening. Because it becomes equivalent to committing the unpardonable sin. The people who are falling away are the people that eventually have committed the unpardonable sin. They cannot be forgiven. They cannot be renewed again to repentance. In Jeremiah chapter 8. Jeremiah chapter 8. Reading from verses 4 and 5. Moreover, thou shalt say unto them, Thus says the Lord, Shall they fall and not arise? That shall they turn away and not return? He won't see we fool up by in your Lua we. These people, they are backsliding. And God was sending Jeremiah to them. God was saying, How long will I wait for you? Will you fall and not arise? Will you turn away from me and not return? He said in verse 5, Why then is these people of Jerusalem sleeping? 
giving back by a perpetual backsliding. You see, they were going beyond backsliding and they were making it perpetual backsliding. It says, they hold fast the seed, they refuse to return. That's the danger that a person that has fallen into sin he gets in love with that sin. He adds to that sin. He begins to defend that sin. He begins to rejoice in that sin. He begins to recommend that sin. He begins to say, I don't worry anymore, whatever the consequence. He makes the backsliding a perpetual, permanent, forever backsliding. He has gone into the siege. He is holding on to the siege. He is holding fast to the siege. And instead of returning like the prodigal son, he doesn't want to return. He refuses to return. He begins to close the gate and lock the gate and seal the gate of repentance and restoration against himself. That's, that's the danger of apostasy. In 2 Peter chapter 2, reading from verse 1, But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you who privily privately shall bring in damnable heresies even denying the Lord that bought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction this is not talking about the people that are weak and they have been deceived this is not talking about unintelligent people who did not know the word of God very well and therefore some false prophets some false preachers deceive them these are not the people that uh, shockingly and surprisingly some uh, peddlers of false doctrine came to them and because they didn't know their scriptures very well they fell into deceit this is talking about the people that lay the truth aside the people that abandon the truth and deliberately they begin to investigate heresy and they begin to try to prove the heresy that the heresy is the right thing and they begin to deny the Lord that bought them before they were born again before they were saved before they were children of God they were purchased by the blood of the Lamb they now deliberately say that that Jesus we don't believe in his blood again we don't believe in redemption again he died for himself not for them and then they deny the Lord who had previously bought them and saved them and redeemed them and purchased them they deny the Lord that bought them there is no salvation for them again because the only Savior they are totally rejected and they bring destruction swiftly upon themselves. Matthew reading from verse 31 wherefore I say unto you all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men but the blasphemy against the Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven unto men 
gbogbo iru esekese ati oro odi ile a darije eniyan sugbon oro odi si emi mimo a ki yo le darije darire jin eniyan here the lord jesus christ was telling the jewish people he said now if you are sinning and sinning and sinning be very careful there is a point you get to in sin the cup of iniquity of iniquity becomes full you go over the line your soul is lost ni ni jesu oluwa tin kilo fu awon ju wipe de tin de se te te swaju nu ese e o ba ese de bi pe e o da de bi pe ago ese ago irira yi okun de bi pe yo mu yin lo sinu iparun the lord was warning the people oluwa n kilo fu awon ere na sin you return to the lord you will be forgiven oni e de se o e be be ba pada so de oluwa yo da ri de you rise to return to the lord you will be forgiven to ba subu to dide to pada si ade oluwa o da ri de o lie you deceit you slander you criticize you oppose you even blaspheme you return to the lord you will be forgiven o kuro o fi oro ba kele ba eni keje je o o je o so awon nkan ti o da nigba to ba ronu pada to ba pada si odo oluwa oluwa yo si dari je o but you said be very careful o su gbe lati sora because with every sin you commit to ri pe nu gbogbo ese te nda yi you are fashioning the chain of sin e se ni en ti o ko e to o ko se le the chain can become so strong e gbe o ko na o da le le and you can become so brazen and so bold faced and you can become so stubborn and you can go just a step if a step beyond and you blaspheme against the holy ghost final there will be no forgiveness o le mu afa ni iko si lo ni pa pe ngo ba ya ki okan re wa le de bi pe ngba bo ba tu gbe se gbe igbese miran ti o tu tayo iru ti o tin gbe tele o wa de lo soro di si emi mo ko wa je pe o di lai la ko gba ko mo ri and if you start it you and whoever shall speak a word against the son of man it shall be forgiven him but to so speaketh against the holy ghost it shall not be forgiven him neither in this world neither in the world to come ni ese ikeji le logbon enikan ti o ba soro di si omo eniyan a o dari re je sugbon enikan ti o ba soro di si emi mimo a ki o dari re je ni aye yi ati ni aye tin bo now you see about this apostate o wa le ri ni pa pe ke yan kuro rodo odun what is it they have done that makes it impossible for them to be renewed again unto repentance ki ni awon kan na ti won ti se e ti o fi je pe yo yo soro fun won lati pada si odo oluwa come back to hebrews chapter 6 and verse 6 o wa pada sinu eberu ori kefa It says, if they shall fall away, it's impossible to renew them again to repentance. What have they done? Seen they crucify to themselves the Son of God afresh. If you have the Spirit of God, you will understand. If you know the Scriptures, you will understand. The agony of the cross was terrible. When Jesus looked ahead and he saw the agony of the cross, he went to get Simon. He said, "My father, if this cup can pass by me, that would have been wonderful, but not my will, but thine be done." It was something that was so agonizing that Jesus Christ, he would, have, if he had any other way to save man, he would have done that other thing apart from going to the cross. And these people now they crucify again the Son of God. Unto themselves. That's why it's impossible for them to make it. And you roll away. You only took out the bag. Let to get ready. But yes, so Lou, Lou, I want your wife. You need party. Roll at your lap. Or your lorry. I believe you. On that you lost in your bag. Same money. Let it be dressed. Bye bye. Bye bye. To buy your bag. Fair. Let me quickly go. You can only go. Just roll lorry. Me. Because you can't share. Fair. Me. Because you can't share. Fair. Let me cash. To buy your bag. On a mirror. What? lati le gba eni ala ti ki se nipa iku oro lori igi agbelebu ni jesu oluwa e ba se sugbon nitori iro laye eyin na e wa wo ki eni kan ko wa pa wopo pelu awon awon eni buburu lati to kan jesu ma agbelebu loto idini yen ti o fi so ti o si le se se fun won lati pada and he says to put him to an open shame e ti o tu doju ti ni gbangba that means then apostasy we are talking about is not private backsliding 
ni pa ba yo wa tumo se pe ke eyan kuro lodo olorun patapata ki se ke eyan o se ni ni we we are talking about is not a private hidden something a believer has seen is very unhappy with himself is crying within himself it is through me saying oh lord i've disappointed you i shouldn't have done people don't know about it he is the only one between him and god in a private way that's not what we are talking about we are talking about the people that have crucified the lord again afresh and they put him to an open shame public shame nigba ti a ba so ri pa pe ke yan subu patapata kuro lodo olorun ohun ti o han gba ngba ti gbogbo awon eyan o ri ni o mo pe ti onigba gbo ba se sise ise iru eni be inu re o ba je ninu koro yara re abere si nigba dura se olorun pe olorun osanu fun mi e tori pe mo ti ja okule sugbon eni ti o tu kan mo olorun ma gbelebu si ara won lotun ti won si doju ti nigba ngba ki se nkan bo nkan le nkan gba ngba ni now these are the people that join hands so judas is carry o iru awon ti won fowo so opo pelu judas is carry o ti these are the people that join hands with jews and they crucify the lord again iru awon ti won fowo so opo pelu awon ju ni ti won to kan jesus oluwa mo dile the people that if they were there at the time when jesus christ was betrayed they would have betrayed jesus christ iru awon to je pe to ba je pe wa laaye ni gba na ti a ta fi jesus han ni won e ba fi jesus won pelu won they were there when the people were crying crucify him crucify him they would have cast their votes among the people and they too would have shouted crucify him ko je pe won la fa ni ati wa laye nigba na nigba ti awon eniyan ki gbe pe e kan ma gbelebu e kan ma gbelebu awon na e ba ti da ibo won po mo ru awon eniyan le pe please that these support says are the people that now entertain hatred in their heart against jesus christ o wa tumo si pe iru awon ti won ti subu kuro lodo olorun yi ni awon ti won ni ko rin ranu okan won si jesus olu no ordinary backsliders the still so lord i know that you have done well to me you have done good to me i know you have taken care of me i am the one that have disappointed you i have backslidden i have sinned i'm sorry for what i've done i will never do this again they don't have a trade against jesus christ they remember his death on the cross of calvary and they cry but these ones they have a trade against the lord and they are shouting again with the people that crucify the lord crucify him oh ma wi pe awon ti won back up pe da iru awon eni be won o ni ko ri ranu okan won si oluwa iru awon eni be ti e ma ra we be ninu adura ipe oluwa e mo si feran re bo le je pe mo sa sise ti mo dese ise ni ko dariji mi ko fanu gba mi sugba awon eni e ta n so pe won subu kuro lodo olorun patapata yi wa do won po pelu awon oju ipe e kan ma gbelebu tori ko ri ranu okan ordinary backsliders are different awon ti won pe in da won ya ordinary backsliders are looking at bible verses where can i find the promise of god that will promise me that if i pray god will forgive me awon ti o je asako laso won ma wa ise oro olorun ni bi wa ti gbe ri ileri olorun ibi ti olorun ti gbe se le ri pe ti won ba je wo ise won olorun yo gba won ordinary backsliders they are looking for the verses of the blood of jesus that the blood of jesus will cleanse me from all my all my sin and they are trying to hold on to that and the devil is saying no you cannot be saved they are saying no oh god i don't want to be lost i don't want to go to hell those ordinary backsliders they are posted they say they have nothing to do with the blood they have nothing to do with christ they have nothing to do with the cross they reject christ they say crucify him away with christ they don't want anything with christ that's why it's impossible to renew them again to repentance en ti o je apada seyin iru eni bi a ma wa awon ese oro olorun to so nipa eje jesus ipe eje jesus o nwe ni mo kuro nu ese bi o le je pe isu afa ma pa lenu mo pe iru ni ko le dariji o a si ma kire elaya ni nipa se ese ese oro olorun to so nipa eje jesus sugbe to ti sako kuro lodo olorun patapata to ti kuro lodo olorun iru eni be a ni ko ohun ni kankan se pelu eje jesus ohun ni kankan se pelu igbala re e mu kuro e kan ma gbelebu look at chapter 10 of hebrews verse 29 iwo wo e beru ori pe wo ese ikokan di logbe of how much sorrow punishment suppose he shall he be thought worthy who has trodden under foot the son of god and has counted the blood of the covenant wherewith he was sanctified an unholy thing and he has done despite unto the spirit of grace oni melo melo ni ero pe a o je oluwa re ni iya kikan eni ti o te omo olorun male ti o si ka e je majemu 
ti a fi so di mimo si ohun wa imo ti o si ke gan emi ore ofe you see the apostate here o wa ri en to ti kuro lodo olorun pataka ta ni it's a person that are falling away o je en to ti subu kuro pataka ta it's a person that rejects the lord o ni en to ti ko lu wa pataka ta it's a person that the lord himself the son of god in a pictorial form here is coming to him saying ah ah what have i done to you i died for you i shed my blood for you and that blood uh, began to flow and then he pulls jesus christ now he walked on jesus he has trod in on the food the son of man and he counted the blood wherewith he had been sanctified in the past he counted that blood an unholy thing and then he has done despite to the spirit of grace he says spirit of god don't talk to me i don't want any of that nonsense he calls salvation nonsense he calls sanctification nonsense he calls uh, the blood of jesus nonsense and he pushed the lord away he walks his way and say let what will happen happen whatever will come let it come i don't want anything of that salvation that's the apostate o ma en ti o ti subu kuro lodo olorun patapata o ni ru eri ta le foju finu wo bi jesus oluwa ti e tun se so mo ninu okan re pe to n bi lere pe ore kini mo se fun o pelu gbogbo igiya pelu gbogbo iku oro ori ori igi agbelebo ki lo fa saba bi to fi kuro lodo mi to fi fi mi sile o ka foju nu wo pe ni yi o le to ti omo olorun si egbe kan to ti subu to temole to mu eje moje mo eta ti fi so di mimo tele to ka si ohun aimo to kege mi ore ofe to ni ohun ni kan se pelu igbala to n pe igbala ni kan radan radan to n pe so di mo ni nkan ti o wulo to n pe mi mo ni nkan ti o wulo to so pe ke mi mo ko mo te bo soro mo o iru eni bayi ko le se se fun won lati mu The passage we are looking at in Hebrews chapter six gives us a description of the apostates. Look at Hebrews chapter six, verses four and five. He tells us five things of the experiences of these apostates in the past. Also, I want to marry. You know, you really want to want to get a partner. So you cross the line. He's talking about this fellow now that has fallen away. The fellow that has now gone to apostasy. But he said in the past number one, that's in verse four, he was once enlightened. He was once enlightened. What does that mean? He was once in spiritual darkness, but the light of the gospel came to him. He was saved, and he was once enlightened. o ti fi gba kan wa ninu okunkun biribiri nipa ti emi imole yin rere si to wa o si je wa ya ise re o si de ni igbala ni gba chapter 10 verse 32 of hebrews o ori ke wa ese ikeji le logbon eberu chapter 10 verse 32 of hebrews eberu ori ke wa ese ikeji le logbon but call to remembrance the former days in which after ye were illuminated ye endured a great fight of afflictions sugba eran ti ojo isaju ninu eyi ti nigbati ati si yin loju e ti ara da wa la la ati igiya you see they were born again what did you to bring back once enlightened once illuminated awon ti a ti la loju le kan awon ta ti si loju nigba come back to hebrews chapter 6 and verse 4 pada si eberu ori ke fa ise ke the second thing and you have tasted of the heaven that is this uh, apostles we are talking about in the past they tasted of the heavenly gift what does that mean to taste of the heavenly gift in uh, john chapter 4 verse 10 jesus answered and said unto her if thou newest the gift of god and who it is that says unto thee give me to drink you would have asked of him and he would have given thee living water jesus down o si wi fun pe iba se pe iwo mo ebo olorun ati eni ti o wi fun pe fun mi mu Jesus is a gift from heaven. Jesus only a blessing. And these apostles we are talking about. Number one, they were once enlightened. Number two, they tasted the Lord and they knew that the Lord was good. I want to walk to Bukro. No, you got to pass that pass. I can't walk. I want to at the land where Lord you like to carry a keg. Number three, look at Hebrews chapter 
uh, 6 verse 4 it says they were made partakers of the Holy Ghost partakers of the Holy Ghost it's very clear to be a partaker is to be a sharer they had a share in the gift in the outpouring of the Holy Ghost Number four, now, verse five, they have tasted the good word of God. These apostates we are talking about in the past, they tasted the word of God. The word of God was very sweet to their taste. There was the time they read the Bible. There was a time they loved the word of God. They will have quiet time. They will read it. They will understand it. They will cry about it. They will rejoice to find the word of God. They tasted of the word of God. Psalm 109 verse 103 how sweet are thy words unto my taste yea sweeter than honey to my mouth you see that's the way they felt in the past they read the word of God it was like honey unto them very sweet to them in the past when they were still in the Lord they tasted of the good word of God Hebrews chapter 6 and verse 5 and it says they have tasted of the powers of the world to come that is the power of the Holy Ghost not only to be a sharer not only to be a partaker not only to be in communion with the Holy Ghost even the dynamite and the power and the strength of the Holy Ghost they had the power in their lives you see all these five things that happened to them in the past. In the past, they knew the law. They were once enlightened. They tasted of the heavenly gift. They were made partakers of the Holy Ghost. They tasted the good word of God. And they tasted the powers of the world to come. The power of the Holy Ghost. And later now, they fell. And that's not enough. Now, they fell away. After falling away, they became rebellious and blasphemous. And so they have got to the point now where it becomes impossible for them to retrace their steps and to come back into the kingdom. Actually, apostasy takes a, a period. Because apostasy, as I told you, is not ordinary backsliding. As we look at the Bible, we see six steps that people take generally before they came to before they come to that final point when now they fall away and the Spirit of God says it's no uh, there is no point uh, troubling him. There is no point uh, speaking to him. Him, there is no point trying to bring him back. He has crossed the line. Number one, there is backsliding and repeated backsliding. You see, when somebody is on the way to apostasy, he backslides, he backslides, he backslides, and backsliding becomes something perpetual, something repeated. 
o mo ki eyan ko to di eni ti o kuro lodo olorun kuro nu igbagbo patapata iru eni be akoko pada seyin ngo ba ti ya tun pada seyin a tun pada seyin ngo ba wa ya a wa so ipada seyin di barakunu aye Jeremiah chapter 5 and verse 6 Jeremiah ori kan ro ese ikefa in the latter part of verse 6 ni la to gbeyin ni ese ikefa because their transgressions are many and their backslidings are increased oni ni to ri ese won po ati ipe yin da won le That's the first step repeated backsliding repeated backsliding he comes he won't spend a week in the lord he goes again he comes he won't spend two weeks in the lord he goes again then he will repent and come he won't spend one month in the lord he goes again be very careful that kind of repeated 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 backsliding eventually can lead to apostasy iru awon ti won mo ngbe igbese lati pada kuro lodo olorun patapata iru ani be to ba pada seyin ko ni lo so to ba nu ku ada duk laarin ose ka to je pada seyin ko to tu lo ose meji a to je pada seyin ko to lo suka a to je pada seyin lai pe lai gina iru eni be okan re awa sele a de n to kuro nu igbagbo patapata now the second step after repeated backsliding is a deliberate rejection of the word of god and the mercy of god igbese keji leyin pe ke eyan ma pada seyin ni gbagbo gbo oni pe iwa si mimo ma ko oro olorun ati anu olorun sile jeremiah chapter 40 4 verse 16 As for the word that thou hast spoken unto us in the name of the Lord we will not hearken unto thee Oro ti iwo so fun wa ni oruko Oluwa awa ki o fe si e fe ti si ti re You see the backsliding now results into the deliberate rejection and the fellow will now tell you well as to the word you are saying understand what you are saying thank you very much for your help thank you for the cassette you sent thank you for the book you gave me to read thank you for the exhortation you are trying to give i know the verses to myself i know everything you are saying but please keep it to yourself i've made up my mind that's not the way i want to follow again i will not do it iru awon ti ati kuro lodo olorun patapata yi iru awon eniyan be oro won ti di eni ti o je pe ngba to ba ba soro olorun tabi to ba fi cassette sowo si ani mo dupe lowo re fun oro to ba mi so mo dupe fun cassette to fi ran ni si mi mo dupe fun iwe to ni kinka sugbon to ba je pe npa ti ona yen ni mo ti pe ninu ninu okan mi pe mi ni nkan kan se pelu ona na ma you see that fellow is going on the way to apostasy eni yen o ti lo sinu pe pada kuro lodo olorun patapata by the time he said i know it is true i know it is right i believed it before i preached it before my I encourage other people before I counsel other people before but for now I don't want anything like that again keep it to yourself I know it's in the bible but that's not my concern I don't want it again that fellow is going on the way to apostasy Oh man nigbati eyan ba ti boro re de bi wi pe ko so pe mo me pe nto nwi o ti to ni mo me pe gbogbo nto so ninu bibere lo wa emi gan papa ti fi ko yan ri e mo si loye gbogbo nto so pe oro olorun ni sugbon ni bayi o mo ti pinu pe ise ni ko pa kini yan ma lodo ara re tori pe ni ise mi o ni rin ni ona na ma a je pe ni yan ti o ti pinu lati kuro lodo olorun patapata ni the third step is when somebody loves deceit and false doctrine he knows it is deceit he knows it is not right and that's exactly what he delights in igbese keta nigbati enikan ba ni ife fun etan ati eko ike eni mo pe eko ike ni won wa sure yi o mo pe etan ni eleyi o de wa pinu pe nton fe niyan jeremiah chapter 5 and verse 31 jeremiah ori karun ese iko kan le logbon the prophets prophesy falsely and the priest be a rule by their means and my people love to have it so and what will you do in the end thereof awon wo li so aso teleke ati awon alufa si akoso labe owo won awon eniyan mi si fe ki o ri be kini eyin o se ni igbeyin re such a backslider is not just suddenly backsliding he knew the truth before eni ti o je apenda e ki kan se apenda lasan nikan o mo ti totele now he sits in the midst of false prophets 
and deceivers and he knows very clearly he's an intelligent man he can read the white and black of the bible he knows that this is error he sits down there he loves that error he's rejoicing in it and you come to tell him you say but don't you know there is error in this place he said forget about it i just love it i love everything going on i know it's error but i love it any oh my way Oh my pe on ti won se adalu oro olorun ko so si ton be o gan fun re mo tele tele doju doju o nka o loye re ninu bibeli sugba ni gba ti eni kan wa ba pe ibi to joko si ko ye ko wa nbe e ko eke lo lo tesu wa ju bi o ni gbagbe npa e mo mo pe to nsele ni sugba mo kan feran re be then number four now they deny christ and they deny his atoning sacrifice they now get to the point where it is not only the bible they are denying it is not only the doctrine they are denying they are now denying christ the savior himself if you now say Jesus was born of Virgin Mary, he says, you believe that now? That a virgin gave birth to somebody. He said, well, maybe you believe it, but for me, I believed it before, but I don't believe again. You say, Jesus lived a sinless life. He says, well, if that's what you believe. But for me now, I, I don't think I believe that. He said, by the time he took a whip and he drove all those people that was selling away wasn't that uh, something uh, if he lived the same left life why did he drive them away like that they begin to argue and then you say jesus had died on the cross uh, you say because they nailed him to the cross and say well you say they nailed him to the cross i think uh, they tied him to the cross and what i think is that before he died somebody came there and uh, loosed the rope and took him somewhere and uh, two or three days or whatever after that he revived and then he came to the city and the people who want to say he resurrected they said he resurrected and you say you say that but you told me before many years ago when you were preaching to me that G uh, that was in the past uh, that time i didn't know what i was saying but now i don't believe that thing again then you say the blood of jesus will cleanse us from all sin and well it says the blood of jesus is the blood of jesus my blood is my own blood your blood is your own blood and i don't see any difference blood of jesus my own blood your own blood blood of stephen blood is blood he denies the efficacy, the cleansing, the purifying in the blood of Jesus. You are when you are he counts the blood of the covenant wherewith he had been sanctified before he counts that blood now a useless thing an unholy thing number five he now preaches error and the doctrines of demons in first Timothy chapter 4 reading from verse 1 now the spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter time some shall depart from the faith they were in the faith before they knew the Lord before they shall depart from the faith giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils 
awon miran yo kuro ninu igbagbo won ti fi gba kan wa ninu igbagbo tele won kuro ninu igbagbo won ma fi esi awon emi tin tan ni je ati eko awon emi esu they now go to the doctrines of devils wa wa lo sinu eko emi esu the devil will not be interpreting the scripture to them esu wa ma stu ma iwe mi mo fun won ba the devils the demons will be misinterpreting and distorting mutilating and changing and diluting the word of god for them and they will be saying they are getting new interpretation new revelation and then they now go about they don't just stay in their houses they go about to confuse other people with the doctrines of devils <laughs> These apostates, they don't just say quietly and say, I won't go to church, I won't do this. They may go to a Bible school and begin teaching false doctrine. They may go to a new church and begin teaching false doctrine. And they will be doing active service for the devil in perpetrating the doctrines of devils. And what you want to cool on the new bag, but in fact they regret that they brought anybody to Jesus before therefore they go back to the people they are brought to the Lord to tell them that I'm the one that told you this before I'm telling you now that that thing is no more so and they want to confuse those people and plant in their hearts the doctrines of devils speaking lies in hypocrisy hypocrisy will be in their life they will know the right thing inside they will be saying the other thing if you are talking to them and talking about Christ and talking about holiness and talking about righteousness if they cannot argue if they cannot find a way of uh, distorting what you say they will keep quiet and after you have landed they will bring another topic and and talk about another thing speaking lies in hypocrisy having their conscience seared with a hot iron they don't feel any guilt they won't have any conviction if you are seeing the evil they are doing and you are saying ah, this is backsliding it looks like you have gone far uh, when did you start all this they won't feel the way you are feeling their conscience will be seared with a hot iron and finally number six they now want other people to backslide with them they may even begin to recommend concoction they may begin to recommend herbalists for you they may begin to recommend how you can kill your enemy and they can begin to talk about occultism, satanism I don't want to that you you are the one that was talking about Christ. Uh, please sit down there. I've gone beyond that one now. In their apostasy, they close the door of eternal life 
against themselves and they seal their doom. Ninu ipo kiko loru sile pata pata awan, wanti ile kwe iya, ene kwe kumara awan, wansi tifi e dididi ikparo ara awan. That leads us to point number three, the damnation of apostates. Inye mwa lo sinu koko keta ebi awan ti okro nu ikba ikba pata pata. Damnation of apostates. Ebi awan ti okro nu ikba ikba pata pata. In Hebrews chapter 6, reading from verses 7 and 8. Eberu ori kefa, lati esha ike jati ike jo. Here the apostle brings a lesson from nature and then he brings a principle that is spiritual. He says in verse 7, For the earth will drink it in the rain that cometh out upon it, and bringeth forth herbs, a uh, meat for them by whom it is dressed, receiveth blessing from God. The Lord is telling, still telling us there is hope for the people who are children of God. He doesn't want the genuine believers to be afraid. He doesn't want those of you, those of us that love the Lord. He doesn't want us to panic. If you, if you know, you know you are born again. You you know you are a child of God. You know that although you have done even something wrong before, but that's not in your mind. You are trembling before the Lord. You want to embrace the Lord. You are telling the Lord, I'm sorry I ever offended you. I want to be faithful to you. He doesn't want such people to be afraid. The people that are not happy with their spiritual growth. But they know by the grace of God they are bearing fruit. Although they are not bearing the hundredfold, they like to bear. But by the grace of God they see change in their lives. You see the transformation of life. And you say, well, by the grace of God, by the grace of God, I am not what I used to be. Even my neighbors can testify that the word of God I am hearing from time to time it is bringing fruit in my life. The apostle doesn't want such people to be afraid or to be frightened or to panic. That's why it says, For the earth will drink us in the rain, which comes upon it very often, and bringeth forth meat or has meat, ready for them by whom it is dressed, he will receive blessing from the Lord. You know, if uh, Peter read a passage like this, he wouldn't have been afraid because he knew he didn't see it inside backsliding. He denied the Lord. He told a lie. He even cursed. But immediately when the Lord looked back and Jesus looked looked at him. He went out and he wept bitterly. Oh yes, Peter would remember that there was a time he was so discouraged. He even said, I'm going to take my net that uh, I go a fishing. And the Lord came to him again and said, Simon, lovest thou me more than this? And he said, you know I love you. I know you are the Christ. I know you are the Son of God. I know you know all things. I know you are my Savior. I know you died on the cross. I know you rose again. I know you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. But you know I am weak. And since I did that other thing, I felt maybe I will never be useful. And so I went to pick my name. But as for 
love me, you I love you. And Jesus said, Feed my land. Yes, and Peter read any passage like this. He will not be afraid. He knew that although he denied the Lord, he knew that he had come back. He received the Holy Ghost on the day of Pentecost. And he preached, and 3,000 people were born again. He remained in the church. He never went back to his net again. He knew that he was one of those people receiving water from heaven and was bringing forth fruit. He knew that he would be blessed of the Lord. So the apostle does not want us to be afraid if we know that by the grace of God we want to serve the Lord, we want to love the Lord, we want to follow the Lord. Although the weaknesses might be there, you are telling the Lord, I don't want to be weak, I want to be strong in the Lord. There is no fear for you. Keep on drawing near around to God and the Lord will perfect whatever is lacking in your life in Jesus' name. Apostoli, go feki ali kani no wakama paya. On the quick alley matters, why you need no long, but like Jack, Ali Nia, why Lera, a little Jack, we all more soon more long, see, Ben, there are still some more long, see, or long, you shall share, and why you are a look of Jesus. But he's warning the apostates, he's warning the people that are backsliding, and that are going to perpetual backsliding. He's warning the people that are very, very near the line. He's asking them, have you counted the cost to your soul be lost? He said there is a line that is drawn. If you cross that line, are you blaspheme against the Holy Ghost? If you cross that line, are you tread upon the Son of God? There is a line that is drawn. If you cross that line, and then you count the blood of Jesus wherewith you are sanctified, an unholy thing. He said, if you cross that line, then you'll be lost and lost forever. Then he says, even now, even now, you may be so near to that line, and if you cross that line, and your doom is sealed, the damnation is sealed forever and ever, you get to a point of no return. Therefore, fear, before you cross that line, come back Calvary is still waiting for you. Oni sugbon ni sisi yi ila na o ti sun mo ati re koja to ba fi re koja bayi a je pe iparun re o di lai lai kon gba niyan si ba play with backsliding. Pada wa si odolu ama ko ma se re pelu ipada sey. Ma se re pelu ipada sey. I don't get near apostasy. Ma so mo ipada sey ipada pata. I don't push the Lord away. Ma ti oluwa si Don't sin against the Holy Ghost. Ma je se si emi mi mo. Because he says in verse 8. Tori po so ni ese ike. For that which bears Sons and priors is rejected. And it's nice unto cursing. Whose end is to be born? Do you remember Korah, Dathan, and Abira? Rejected and cursed. Burning in hell fire for now. Do you remember Cain? He knew the way of the Lord. The Lord spoke to him. If you have done well, would you not be accepted? Why are you gloomy? Why is your face falling? The sin offering is at the door. But then instead of listening to correction and counseling, he killed his brother. And the punishment came to him greater than he could bear. You will remember Achan. They had been told you will not touch up the accursed thing. But he took that thing and he hid it in the tent. He got to a point of no return. There was no mercy for him. You remember Korah, Dathan, and Abira. And the man of God, Moses, said, We will know whom God has chosen. And he said, Come to the tent and bring your sense and your hand. He said, Go and tell Moses, We will not come. The rebellion came to an high. And then the earth opened and swallowed them up. Oh. They, were, they were rejected and then it says they were cursed now 
when they are falling in the lake of fire, you will remember Balaam. The Lord has said, don't go with them. But he loved the, he loved the gain of unrighteousness. And then while he was going, an angel met him by the way. The, the mouth of his eyes was even open. See the mercy of God. See the miracle of God. And the ass began to talk to him. And the talking of the ass would have brought him to repentance. And the angel even said, your way is perverse before me. And the fellow was still looking at the place he was going. He was bent on backsliding. He was bent on denying the law. He was bent on going away from the law. He had been once enlightened. He had tasted the word of the world of the world to come. He had tasted the power of God. He had the gift of the Holy Ghost. Eventually, he even taught Balak how to make the children of Israel to commit fornication and to commit sin against God and to be destroyed. You remember Judas Iscariot? The Lord called him. The Lord loved him. The Lord appointed him. The Lord gave him gifts. The Lord gave him position. All the money collected by the apostles was in his care. And the Lord warned him. He said, better it was for, for that man not to have been born. And he was sitting on the same table with Jesus. Can you imagine something like that? You are born again, I'm born again. You are sanctified, I'm sanctified. You are baptized in the Holy Ghost, I'm baptized in the Holy Ghost. But there's something you have not done, there's something I have not done. You have not sat on the same table with Jesus, eating from the same plate, and Jesus putting food in your mouth. What a great privilege Judas Iscariot are. He left that same table where he was eating with the Son of God. He went to betray the Lord Jesus Christ. That man was lost. The chance is for you today. Where will you be in eternity? How close are you to that line? Are you crossing the line? Are you playing with backsliding? Are you going to the people that are apostates? Are you listening to false doctrine? Are you searing your heart? Are you hardening your heart? Are you turning away from the Lord? Are you joking with hellfire? Are you joking with damnation? Are you joking with perdition? Are you telling me I will go then I will return again? How do you know whether you will ever return? If you want to return today is the only day. If you want to come back you, today is the only day you can come back. Because if you cross that line, if you cross that line, if you cross that line, you, that line, you may get to the point of no return. And you will cry, there will be no mercy. But you remember Esau. You remember Esau. You remember Esau. That part of what he came looking for the blessing, but they found no way to repent again. The Lord is calling you before the door is closed. The, door is, the Lord is calling you before you cross the line. Before the Lord is calling you before you fall away. The Lord is calling you before you blaspheme against the Holy Ghost. The Lord is calling you before you become spiritually blind. The Lord is calling you and before the Lord will say, I have no chance for him again, I will never save him again. The Lord is calling you before you seal your doom. The Lord is calling you before you enter into perdition. The Lord is calling you before you become an apostle. He's saying, come today. While the Spirit is still calling. While Jesus is still waiting. While the door is still open. While the Father is still expecting you. While the Bible study is still going on. While the door of opportunity is still open. While the door is while the Lord is talking to your heart, while the conviction is burning within your soul, while your conscience is not yet hardened, while you are not yet crossed the line, while you are still crying before the Lord, while you still want to have the hope of heaven, while you still know in my father's house are many mansions, while you are still desiring to make heaven, while you still want to sing the song with the same, while you still want the blessing of the Lord upon your life, while you are still saying, Oh Lord, I'm here 
have blessed me. Why you have not gone the way to false doctrine? Why you have not gone the way to the devil? Why the devil has not blindfolded you? Why the devil has not caught you yet? Why you have not caused the lie? Why the opportunity is still there today? Why the spirit is still pleading with you? Why the promises are still flesh in your mind? Why the Lord is still saying, Remember, 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 I died for you on the cross of Calvary. Why you still have faith to see the blood of the Lamb? Why you still have faith to hold on to the promises of God? Why you are still tender? Why you are still trembling? Why you are still under conviction? Why your heart is still humble? Why you are still calling upon the Lord? Why you can still pray? Why you can still mention the name of Jesus? Before you cross the line, before you cross the line, before you cross the line, come, come today, before you become an apostate, before you fall away, before you are drowned in the sea of perdition, before there is no hope, before rebellion will grab you like a chain, before backsliding will become perpetual, before the Holy Ghost will be withdrawn away from you, when you will cry, there will be no answer. While the Lord is calling today, come and don't waste time. Come and don't waste time. Come and don't waste time. For today, for today, whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Don't rebel. Come today.